Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to polish an abalone shell. So it looks like this right now when you find it underwater. And it's going to turn into something like this. Nice and shiny. This one doesn't turn out so well. When you're looking for them, you have to make sure that they're freshly killed. They need to have their shell intact or kind of partially intact. That one isn't too great. This one you can see the shell is it's all there. It's nice and nice and yummy. You want to make sure it has a thick layer of juice, I guess you would call it. See this one has lots of depth to it. This one turned out very well. Anyways, all you need sandpaper. Don't really need too much. I just use 150 for most of it, and then a thousand for the fine details. You also need some water. So yeah, let's go. Okay, so <laughs> make sure to go somewhere where you're not afraid to get wet. There's a bathroom, in case you couldn't tell. 150 grit sandpaper, as you can see. Zero, upside down five, upside down one. That grit. All you're gonna do Get it wet. See, it gets even shinier. And you're just gonna rub it on wherever it lies flat. It's hard to do this with hand. So you just rub it a lot like that. Gotta keep it wet. So you can see the layers starting to shave off just a little bit right where it's flat. And you know you're doing it right when you have all this gunk. Just wash it off. Go back to it. See, we're getting those layers starting to peel off. Looks pretty cool. I think it's gonna be a good one. starting to notice this stuff on the sides that's just from the curve of the shell it's gonna get smaller the more you polish it you want a mostly flat surface right here you want that mostly flat as flat as you can but sometimes they're still just too deep flat now. So pretty thick though. I'm just gonna hit it a little bit more. I get that barnacle off. 
and then I'm going to switch over to the 1000 grit. I'm just going to keep working this thing. satisfied with this. Now you can sand these corners off because they're just going to break off anyways. Maybe get like a nice smooth edge. It's optional though, you don't need to do that. I think I will with this one though. It's pretty nice. All right, yeah, that looks pretty nice. It's definitely the eggiest one I've ever made. Looks pretty eggy. This next step is kind of important. Pet your cat. Just kidding. Okay, so what you're gonna do, rub it with your shirt. Just take your thumb, just go like that. Do that for like five minutes. Nice and squeaky. Okay, so at this point, you don't want to get it wet. You want to keep it nice and dry. What you're going to do is set it down on a surface. Gonna cover your nose. I'm gonna take some clear coat. Just lap it. Light coat. Not too much. Alright, you're just gonna let it sit there. <laughs> 